Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's your host, Andres Salazar. I am here, a comic book lover, creator, purveyor, promoter, publisher, everything or of comics. And today I want to talk to you guys about some zines and little, little fun little zine comics. Um, I have some zine little guys that I bought online or I got at comic shops. I have mine. I do these little ash can zines for the Patreon. So if you join the Patreon, you get these little guys. These are different mo each month I do one. Uh, that would be a buck. And I also made some zines of the 24 hour comics I did, um, which I really enjoyed making. And you can get these as well at shows or at Comic-Con or at the Patreon. I'm not going to go into my little mini comics or my Patreon stuff unless you want me to. So I don't want to self-promote all the time. I want to be a little sensitive to that, you know. Part of my 12-step uh, uh, program is knowing not to self-promote all the freaking time. So, but that said... If you want me to go through one of these and stories, my little zine making process, I will do that. But you need to comment, okay? Otherwise, I ain't doing it. I will talk about these because I got these and I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through them. So why don't we go through some of these little zines? First off, let's just talk about the zine. Let's talk about, we're call, I'm calling them zines, but you can call them Ashcan comics. You can call them those are the two terms actually we're just going to use ash can and scenes what i love about these little stupid things is it's just this little comic it's a comic book the lo-fi element to this and the ability to just get a piece of 11 by 17 put it through your printer staple it, saddle stitch it, side thing, cut it in half, boom, 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 hand it, right? Two bucks, three bucks, one buck, 50 cents, whatever. I just love that like indie, super indie quality. Like if DC Comics were to make a series of zines that are just little like newsprint zines, I think it would sell so much. I think it'd be fun. I think, I mean, it might be hard to distribute it in different places, but it'd be fun to like put it places. I just like that idea. So there you go. There's a free, free one for you, all you marketeers at DC, um, who I actually met because I was going out for a job. Okay. So, and here's another, so this is, uh, <clears throat> 11, this is eight and a half by 11. This must be, is this like a, no, it's, I was going to say, is this half of that? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. So this is even half of that. I like these even more because they're even more like little little guys. Um, and I think these are all done by Dan Zetwatch, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, these are all done by Dan Zetwatch. He's a brilliant. This one is done by James Wright. I got this at the little zine. There was like a zine convention down in um orange county i think it was anaheim public library or somewhere around anaheim i think it was somewhere in orange county public library and so i got some stuff so this is a little left-handed compliments writers poorly drawing their childhood ideas and characters and this looks like a little um anthology so you know, really fun. Now this is computer. You can tell this is computer uh, lettered, but that's okay. And here we go. So these are, this is now writers doing the art. And I'm going to zoom in here so we can like take a look, take a gander gander at this. Um, Raisins of Death, Big Old Death. <clears throat> kind of fun. And so, yeah, it looks like he... Uh, in this comic, I make fun of the fact I totally ripped off Neil Gaiman's Sandman. I was a huge fan of the series, and they, yeah, kind of fun. <clears throat> Here's another one. K 
Kastanar versus Neil Gaiman. There's just something kind of fun and uh, lightheartedness to these, you know, which I think is kind of cool. And then there's just some like really like very basic kind of art, but that's okay. Again, it's just about the comics. I mean, you, you don't get these necessarily for design, although these will, will are against that. These actually prove the opposite, but generally speaking, you get these for kind of just the little emotional moments, you know? That's, that's what you're getting it for. You're not getting it for anything other than that. Yeah, this is, this is kind of fun. This is cute. Here's another artist. I actually kind of like this. This is clean. <clears throat> So this is what the majority of zines are going to be. Kind of amateurish art or story, but it's but it but it's fun, it's kitschy, it's it's a zine. There you go, right? Something kind of fun. It's cheap. It's a little bit of entertainment, right? It's like watching a uh, it's 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 a it's a vibe or a it's a the TikTok of video making, right? Okay? Um, that's what it is. Now, Let's go to something that's not TikTok. This is the freaking HBO Max series of design zines. <clears throat> Dan Zetwatch is a designer, graphic designer, and he these are amazing. Now, these are also not cheap. I think there's like a buck each. Maybe even more. I think they're like a buck each. So they're not super cheap. Well, I guess that's it's a buck, but I mean it's pretty damn small. Look at this here. I mean, this is this alone this art alone is like pretty freaking cool look at this and you can tell this looks like it's hand lettered now it might not be but it looks like it but look at the different he's using you know one two three four different fonts right here five this i mean he's really doing a lot of design I'm actually just reading it. <laughs> uh, it's printed on. Yeah, it's probably. It, it's a laser printer, actually. It's not inkjet. So that gives it a nice quality, which I really need to get it, a laser printer. My inkjet, it's okay, but I don't like it that much. And the only reason why I got it was for the big flatbed scanner. Um, I really want a laser printer though. You just, it's so much better. Um, yeah, look at this. This is great work. Oh, look at that. He does all these cutaways. That's just really fascinating stuff. Brilliant work. Also, look at his use of tones um, and blacks. It's really great. Man, look at and look at this even. Cutaway comic. This is really nice. Really is nice. Um, let's go to this one. Cutaway comics. A little bit of like Big Daddy Roth look to it as well. Yeah. I'd like to know what his original size, the artwork size is. That'd be kind of fun to kind of like check out. It's definitely big. I like the tones in here. Yeah, I really like the grays. The, the tones and blacks and grays are great. Really is well done. This is like professional like stuff. Look at this one. It's wonderful. Look at that. And the lettering, the design for all this really is top notch. Giant Sycamore, all these things. A little bit of a Chris Ware look to it too, feel. 
Yeah, I'm excited. I need to like sit down and really read these and go through these. So that's one, two, and three. That's the, I guess this is a little like series. And then this one, I like this just because of the printing. You get kind of like a Woody Woodpecker. I like, I like the two-tone again. Now this is interesting. This is, this is a matte red that is like, huh, I wonder how we did that. <clears throat> that is really cool. Isn't that great? It's just so freaking cool. It, it has that off offset color like silk screen feel to it and it could have even, it could even be that because the laser the black is laser printed but the red is this matte which feels like it might be I don't know I, I have a feeling this this could have been some sort of like a silk screen look it's great though isn't this wonderful this is so good. Anyway, this is on his website, um, Dan Zetwatch. Really, really great stuff. These are my zines. This is what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I have more. Maybe we'll do a part two. Why don't you comment, you guys? Let me know. If you want more zine stuff, I'll pull out all my zines because I got even more. And, uh, and or if you want me to talk about mine that I do for my Patreon or these 24-hour comic ones that I made, let me know because I'll do that too. I think this is kind of a fun, another way to tell story. It's it's like another way to create and self-publish and can be expressive. And uh, it's something that has a low cost, no, virtually no barrier of entry. You know what I mean? It's just a low startup cost. You just get a freaking piece of paper and you, you print it and that's it. And it's pretty simple. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out my stuff on my channel, subscribe and like and all that jazz, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.